Hello and welcome to my presentation on learnings and reflection, a course project on Eduk 6214, which is my course project on technology for teaching and learning elementary grades. I am J. Ian Alkapungan, Bachelor of Elementary Education student. In module one, I learned the vital components in teaching and learning in the digital age. Skills needed in teaching learning in the digital age are communication skills, the ability to learn independently, ethics and responsibility, teamwork and flexibility, thinking skills, digital skills, and knowledge management. In module two, I learned about the International Society for Technology and Education, and the following are the standards for teachers. Facilitate and inspire student learning and creativity, design and develop digital age learning experiences and assessments, and model digital age work and learning. Promote and model digital citizenship and responsibility and engage in professional growth and leadership. In module three, I learned about the key concepts of digital literacy, and that digital media are networked, persistent, searchable, and shareable. Digital media have a known and unexpected audiences. Digital media experiences are real, but don't always feel real. And how we respond and behave using digital media is influenced by the architecture of platforms, which reflects the biases and assumptions of their creators. Also in module three, I learned about the tips for integrating media literacy in classrooms, exploit teachable moments, give students a chance to create media, not just analyze it, start and end with the key concepts, recognize that kids and adults enjoy media, teach about multimedia, make media education about asking questions, fight the perception that it doesn't matter, assess and evaluate media literacy work, let students bring their own media to the table, and keep up to date with media trends and development. In module four, I learned about computers in education. The roles and functions of computers in education include the following, that computers increase productivity, facilitate communication between and among students, teachers, and administrators, that computers are utilized to access large amounts of information, and computers are smart aids in teaching. Computers facilitate in electronic format for information storage, and computers can teach subjects and increase the learning of students. In module five, I learned about the types of application software used in schools. And these are the instructional software, such as tutorial, drill and practice software, simulations, instructional games, problem solving software, and special needs software. We also have the product out activity softwares, which are the word processing, electronic spreadsheet, presentation software, and graphics and multimedia software. And finally, we have the administrative software. In module six, I learned about the educational technology effectiveness. Educational technology should be appropriate for the teaching learning situation, be encouraging, promote learning, be at the right age or level of students, address the curriculum needs, and help meet the learning outcomes. Also in module six, I learned about the impact of educational technology to students' achievement. The impact of technology on student achievement include the following, mastering fundamental skills, becoming proficient technology users, preparing students with 21st century skills, and motivating students to higher achievement levels. In module seven, I learned about ICT legal and ethical issues, unauthorized access and use of software, hardware, network, and computer files, hardware theft and vandalism, software theft, information theft, and malicious acts in software. Also in module seven, I learned about the 10 commandments of computer ethics. Do not utilize the computer in such a way that it will harm other people. Do not utilize a computer to interfere with the work of other people. Do not spy on the computer data of other people. 
Do not utilize the computer to steal information from other people. Do not spread false information using the computer system. Do not utilize fake pirated copies of the software in using the computer system. Do not utilize a computer system that is not authorized to use. Be, do not claim ownership of someone's piece of work. And prior to software development, consider its social impact. In using computer technology and communicating with other people, courtesy and respect should be present. In module eight, I learned about the alternative delivery system and the benefits of distance learning are access to education and training for both and the general populace, distance learning acts as an institutional innovation, a broader communication method with education realm, a more cost-effective form of learning is offered by distance education. Students who have illnesses or disabilities are able to attend a good education through distance learning. Final opportunity may be offered for adolescents who are no longer permitted in traditional schooling due to behavior disorders and a unique opportunity to benefit from the best universities, resources and expertise is offered in individuals by distance learning. In module nine or also in module eight, I learned about the different technologies that support distance education. These are broadcast media or the broadcast radio, audio teleconference, video conferencing, web conferencing, and other online telecommunication tools that educators can utilize to deliver instructions our learning management systems in the electronic mail or the email. In module nine, I learned about the World Wide Web and in it, it started in the year 1969 up to the present in 2014, but actually, the World Wide Web is still developing up to the present. Also in Module 9, I learned about the Internet and the World Wide Web in education. And the roles of Internet and World Wide Web in teaching learning are the following. For communication tools, for inquiry tools, and for construction tools. In Module 10, finally the last module, I learned about web tools and resources. We have the 3D projects animation and comic strip, audio ed editing tools, bookmarking and online collaboration, blogging, classroom innovation. More web tools and resources are for desktop publishing tools, games, quizzes, and educational activities, instructional videos and video sharing, mind mapping, online storage and sharing, and photo editing tools. And we also have presentation tools and slideshows, social networking, tag, timelines, and video editing tools. You can go over and check out some of the examples of these web tools and resources. And my tips in integrating technology in the classroom instruction is to one, pick one web-based tool. Number two, set a goal for the nine-week grading period. And then last, lastly, pick a tech trackie. Finally, my food for thought for you is that technology alone isn't going to improve student achievement. The best combination is great teachers working with technology to engage students in the pursuit of the learning they need. I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me out on my phone number, my email address, or you can contact me on my Facebook at J.E.N. Kapuman or yajnai.maglupa. Thank you very much for listening. I am J.E.N. L. Kapungan, and this has been Learnings and Reflections. Mabuhay!